part that really just sets this water change way ahead of the game and just makes life so much easier. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Today we're talking all about maintaining a jellyfish tank. I've had these jellyfish for a little over six months now and I've changed a lot of things since I first got them. To start off with, we added one more little jellyfish. Two out of the four jellyfish are not looking too hot right now and they have actually inverted. And the reason I'm doing this video, other than showing you guys how to maintain them, is to show you guys, one, that they're inverted and two, the reasonings being and how we can try to fix this. If you're from South Florida, you probably know that we got a bit of a cold front going on right now. Hence the jacket, you know, it's not cold for a lot of you guys that live in other states, but for Floridians, it is freaking freezing out here. Too cold. Anyway, these jellyfish are near a window and because of the fluctuation in temperatures outside, the temperature of the tank also fluctuated a lot. So I wasn't sure what was going on with the inverted jellyfish. Uh, my levels are good. I've been doing my water changes every week now. I used to do them every other week, but I decided to bump it up just because overall tank health. Once I noticed this happening, I started doing some research ASAP and mostly I was coming up with temperature fluctuations. I also emailed into Jellyfish Art just to check in with them and they also confirmed that it's most likely due to a temperature fluctuation. So to combat the invertedness of the jellyfish, I have a heater on the way. Hopefully this will keep the levels a little bit more stable and they will get the stability that they need to properly rebel. Jellyfish Art also let me know that I could softly try to reflip them and sometimes they will hold back the other way. Not always, but we're gonna give it a shot today and see if we can get them back. So I have my one gallon of jellyfish salt water here. I mix this a week in advance so that way it sits and is all good and everything is set to go. This new water change method is super easy and it saves so much time. Before we mix up the glass or take anything out or make any sort of mess, we got a bucket and we, I'm just gonna leave it here and make it easier. And we scoop out half of the water along with the jellyfish. They're kind of low right now, so it might be a little hard, but. So, basically, we're getting the cleanest possible water because it's not all the guckamonga from the bottom of the tank. So now I kind of got a, the jellyfish are coming up. So look, those are the two inverted ones. So we slowly scoop him up and release him into the tank. One, obviously try to do this as gentle as possible. Two. And set them free. All right, so now we just take off a couple more of the water till we're about halfway. Try to be careful, because remember, you got the jellyfish in here now. Uh, maybe do one more, just for safety. I could always add it back. Boom. All right, just, just, just like that, our jellyfish are in here out of the way, good to go. Now, we can get to work on cleaning this tank and making sure it is spotless. I'm gonna change this Kemi Pure uh, Nano. I do it about once a month, I, ch I swap this out. We got one little scrubber here, and we got this little bristle pad here. The other good thing about weekly water changes is that it's never really that bad because you're constantly doing it every week, so it's way quicker than having to scrub a bunch of crap off the walls. Oh, I forgot, I forgot I had a hermit crab in here. A blue-legged hermit. Sorry, buddy. I also put him in here. Boop. My bad. I just flung him to another dimension. You can get the bottom a little bit as well, too. Kind of just scraping it. Where the bottom really comes in handy is with this pad. It's a little bit rougher, and it really scrapes off that algae that you get where the uh, light is. That's where it tends to grow the most. So... Anything that's still there, I just get with this guy. Look how dirty this water is now, right? All that crap is just floating in there. Boom. Next up, we give this guy, oh, gotta take this out too. Remember, we have this filter back here. So we gotta loosen everything up back there. All right, and then here comes the amazing part. This is the part that really just sets this water change way ahead of the game and just makes life so much easier. We shook this guy loose, right? And then we get this entire thing 
Granted, you don't have to do it from like a waterfall distance like me. I'm just hard headed and this is how I do it. But. Oh yeah, baby. And everything. The back water, it's empty. It's done, empty, all gone. And just like that, we have a brand new tank as if as if we're, if we're setting it up for the freaking first time here. So we still got this filter in the back. Also, another thing you wanna check is this tube. I had an issue before where salt crystals got in the bottom of it and they clogged it up a bit. I just did it last week, so I don't have to do it this week, but make sure you guys check that occasionally and just make sure if there is salt crystals at the bottom of it that you just clean it out with like a toothpick or something. That way you don't disrupt the flow. We have dirty water here with all the stuff from in there. We've cleaned the bottom and we got the jellyfish in here. Now we pour our new water in without disrupting the jellyfish. We just, boop, woo. All of it goes in. Yeah, buddy. Pour it up, pour it up. Oh, geez. Careful for the splash attack. Boom. Okay, there's our gallon. Remember, this is a two gallon uh, jellyfish tank. So we got our gallon there. Give it a second to settle. And, excuse me, sir, you're not going in the jellyfish tank. Hi, bud, but you gotta get out. Sorry, go. Another thing I forgot to mention, make sure that you have the water that you're gonna water change the jellyfish with kind of in the same area or room that the jellyfish are in so that way the temperatures match up. And then once we're ready to go, we just input our clean water back in. Uh, I was about to grab the jellyfish with one hand. Silly. Can't really see them in here, so I just slowly, oh, I got one, woo! And then I just kind of put them all the way down into the water so that way they flow out with uh, a little less trauma. Oh, actually, this is the flipped one. Let me see if I softly flip him. Come on, buddy. All right, we flipped him. I don't know if he's gonna hold, but we got him to flip. Jellyfish, where are you guys? I'm getting nothing but water over here. There's one. Ah, I feel like SpongeBob. Oh, that was two in one. All right, so those are both of our guys there. Let me flip this other one. He's still moving. He's very, he's very uh, anxious. Come on, buddy. We got him, we got him, we got him. Oh no, only, he's gotta get this part popped out. All right, I think we got him. Everybody is flipped upright. Ugh, he slimed on me. Gross. And then you just fill up the rest of the water. All right, so now the bulk of the water change maintenance is done with the jellyfish, and now we just have to finish off with a little, a couple little things that we do just to keep the, uh, keep the house in order, you know? First up, we use some Kemi Pure Nano and we throw that in the back. There's a nice little slot in the uh, filter back there that holds that nicely like that. We got some nice bubble action going on. Every single water change, I put in some Jelly Bio Maintain. I do two milliliters into the back. I use this, which I've almost killed this whole bottle since I've had them and it's been, like I said, a little bit over six months, I think. And I also throw in some drops of this stability. I think I do like five or six drops. Shake this guy up like this. This stuff smells really bad, so uh, you might want to work quick. Oh, the smell has got to me. Gosh, that smells bad. I kind of just put it in the back, just so it, uh, and then I clear it out too. I shake up the stability too. Once that water settled a little bit, I use a refractometer and check to make sure we are kind of within our parameters. You obviously want to check the water of the tank before and the water that you're putting in and make sure they're within one PPT, I believe. We are a little bit higher than I would like, as I could probably tell from the uh, jellyfish floating. So I'm going to take out about half a cup and replace it with half a cup of RO. That one guy doesn't want to stay flipped. Hopefully when we get this temperature in check, he will uh, reverse himself. But the other one stayed good to go, so 
That's good. After that little adjustment, we're sitting at 30 PPT, so we are good to go. Now, something that I usually wouldn't do right after the water change, I actually prefer to do it before and like a couple hours ago. Sometimes I even skip it on the water change day just for stress reasons is feed them. Now I like to do it before rather than after because obviously I just cleaned the tank. So now I'm putting food in there and then dirtying it up again. But you know, it is what it is. I want to show you guys. So I use the uh, jellyfish art food. There's a little scoop in this uh, bag here. I get half a scoop like that. Oh, most of the time I make it inside of the cup, but you know, can't win them all. Give it a little stir rooney and distribute. I think I'm gonna bump the salinity up to like slowly over time to like point like three one instead of 30. They're supposedly good between 28 and 32. So that's why I'm kind of in the middle. I believe that's also where jellyfish art keeps their tank. So that's just what I've been doing. But I noticed they tend to stick onto the bottom a lot more. So I might bump them up in the column a little bit. So the water change is done, but as you can see, obviously there is a mess outside. The glass is filthy and it is just horrendous. Make sure you guys use only a microfiber cloth when you clean these glass. They are acrylic. Well, <laughs> when you clean this glass, it's, it's acrylic. So you don't want to use something and scratch it. Pretty much buff out the whole tank. The last thing to do is get your water ready so that next week you're all set. I use Jellyfish Art, the Jelly Salt. They have these super convenient one gallon salt ratios. They also have a five gallon one if you make bigger batches, but this is just easier for me so I could just store it better. Very carefully get it started. Boom. And the salt just pours in there. Super easy. I'll do this a couple times throughout the week just to make sure if anything settled that it gets mixed. That's all there is to it. Maintaining a jellyfish tank is not the hardest thing in the world. Although I do have to get those water fluctuations under control and I'm hoping that the I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that the jellyfish will flip around on their inversion. I, once I get the heater, I'll still try to help them back a little bit. Cause like I said, that one flipped back and we're so far so good. The other one, not so much. He kept, he kept inverting again. That temperature stability is all they're missing in this tank to be good to go. You know, it's not a lot to maintain the jellyfish tanks. The one thing I don't like is the weekly water changes because I'm super lazy. But with this new method that jellyfish art told me about, it's way better. I'm done in like 15 minutes, sometimes even quicker. If I really put a fire under my ass, you know, this is definitely key for these weekly water changes. I feed half a, a scoop of the jellyfish food once a day. I, I cut that back as well. I was doing like three quarters to one scoop before and they were like, no, like that's too much. So Cut that back. Now I do half a scoop for that once a day. I'm not really sure what else you guys want to see on the jellyfish tank. Like, there's not too much to it. They're just jellyfish floating around in the tank. So, it's not like, you know, the reef tanks, we add stuff and we do corals and stuff. Th this is pretty much it right here behind me. So, I don't know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see something specific with the jellyfish tank, let me know. If not, we'll just go back to the reef tank until something else happens. I'll definitely keep you guys updated when I get the heater and hopefully we get these bells in uninverted. Yeah. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We've got new videos every single week. Make sure to check out the link in the description to shop the merch. Shoplater.com really helps support the channel. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later.